Today we're going to talk about how to buy fractional shares in M1 Finance. I think fractional shares are awesome. It is a great way that you can buy into companies, own shares in companies without having to buy the huge amount if you can't afford it. So say you're buying Tesla and it's $700, you only have $100 to put into Tesla. You can do that with a fractional share. So I'm going to dig in how to do it, complete walkthrough. We're going to buy a share ourselves. It's going to be awesome. Hey friends, welcome to Freedom in a Budget. My name is Kelly with Freedom in a Budget. Com. My channel is all about living life well in a budget. And budgets don't have to be constricting, no, but they give you freedom. Freedom to invest, freedom to pay off debt, freedom to build wealth. I'm all about building wealth with your budget and the control that you have over your money versus your money in control of you. So today we're going to talk about fractional shares, how to buy fractional shares. I'm going to do it in M1 Finance. Robinhood is now rolling out this as well. I'll do a separate video on Robinhood, so stay tuned, subscribe. But if you're new to M1 Finance, I do have a link for you guys down below in the description box. You can sign up for M1 Finance. I also have links for Webull and Robinhood. All three are great apps. All three I use personally myself. I vetted them. They are awesome apps, so I'll have links to all of them down below in the description if you want to try them out yourself. All right, so let's get over to the computer. I'm gonna show you on desktop version how to buy fractional shares in M1 Finance. Here we are in my M1 Finance portfolio. You can do this on desktop and mobile. I'm just gonna show you on desktop today. So in my portfolio, I have $3,345.32. Um, I am up quite a bit, $1,300. And right now I have a cash balance of $10.53. This is just from dividend payouts that I have. Um, as you can see, quite a bit of dividends here. So that is that. And I'm gonna be buying two different fractional shares. I'm gonna show you one fractional share of a company that I already have, and then a fractional share of a new company. Now, when you look at my M1 Finance portfolio, I do not pay too much, much attention towards the different target percentages. I buy more for I want X amount in this company. And I also have other portfolios. I have a Robinhood portfolio, which you guys have seen in those videos. I have my IRAs, I have my 401k. So this is not my only investment. So some people may look at this and be like, you are way over in Tesla and Johnson & Johnson. Uh, most people recommend not to have any company be over 10% of your portfolio. So I have, you know, like I said, a bunch of these in both, both portfolios. I have, you know, other investments as well. So I am diversified, even though it doesn't look like I am here. Now, first thing we're going to do is put some money in. So I'm going to put in $30 from my bank account. Let's see here. Continue. Okay, so let's buy our first stock. So first we are going to add another company. I am going to be adding Pepsi, PepsiCo. Now Pepsi, a lot of people think Pepsi is just a soda, but Pepsi is so diverse from just a soda. They sell so many different products like those Starbucks drinks, they sell chips, they sell Lay's, they sell the pita chips, they sell oatmeal, they are all over the place. They are awesome. And as you can see, Pepsi is coming back up to where it was um, from the dip. So, you know, we're buying obviously as it's coming back up, but we want to get in to Pepsi right now. So I'm going to add it to my basket and then you have to change the percentages here. So I'm going to add 1% of Pepsi and then I'm going to take away 1% of Apple. I'm actually going to up Amazon as well and take down Berkshire Hathaway. So we are at 100% here and we're going to save, confirm changes. Then what we are going to do is we are going to go down to Pepsi right here and we're going to hit buy sell. And we have available for orders is $40. So we're going to put in $20.53 to Pepsi. So right now we're putting in just $20 into Pepsi. Order submitted, Pepsi. So right now the stock price for Pepsi is $131. So if you were to buy one share of Pepsi, you would have to put in a whole $131. But if you do just a fractional share, you can put anything you want. You can go as low as $10. So we are doing that right there. 
Then we're gonna go back to my portfolio and I'm gonna to add to a company that I already have, which is Amazon. So then I can go to buy, sell. And right now I have available is $20. So I'm gonna go continue, confirm buy. So this is gonna buy, it's Sunday right now, so it's gonna buy tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. So pending status right there. And right now Amazon is trading at 2000 $675.01. So for us to buy one share of Amazon, you'd have to put in $2,600. But with fractional shares, it's awesome. You can just put in whatever amount you want. So we're gonna go back to my portfolio. And as you can see here, view trades, we have $20.53 for Pepsi and then $20 for Amazon. And if we wanted to, we could put in, you know, do a different one as well. So that is fractional shares. It is super easy to buy just one little portion of a company. It's great for you to be able to buy, buy into a company that you can't afford to buy a whole entire share. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. I hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, if you do want to get M1 Finance, Robinhood, Webull, any of those, I'll have links down below in the description box. If you are a new investor and you're nervous and you want to get over the fear of investing, check out this video here. And if you wanna see my most recent $3,000 portfolio update, check out this video here. Hey, no, no, no.